dimensions on that tree skirt then? Uh, it's 62 inch finished diameter. Cool. Yeah, that's perfect. Even if it draped over a little bit, that's going to look so nice on a table. Yeah, it would. And on a square, it would look good because you could lay it this way. Yeah. Good morning, yeah. Debbie. So, oh my God, Martha, this is perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, exactly of those perfect. patterns. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. So this is working out perfect. So it tells you you need uh, five-eighths big squares or eight layer cake squares or eight patchwork blocks that measure 10 inches. So those have to be 10-inch blocks. Let's see how big they are. That's kind of scary because I don't think they're 10 inches. But I can make them 10 inches, I hope. Oh, yeah. If I cut these out, no, there's no way. This is not 10 inches. Well, come One, on, two, three, Joe. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, my God, they are 10 inches. Ha <laughs> ha, yay. Yes, perfect. They, they're 10 inches across. Freaking perfect. Okay, sorry. No, they are one, two, three. They are nine and three quarters. Yeah, so but you there's can enough have a room. Bit of... Oh. I, uh, damn. I need them 10 inch squares. There is enough. Oh, yeah. I just have to leave a little edge all the way around. A little bit of red on. Yep. Yep. Because when I sew that, because they're not, that'll be perfect to look. So an eighth of an inch all the way around is what I would have to leave on these. Cool. To cut them up. Yeah, Perfect. so it worked. Yeah, I have enough right here. I was scared there wasn't enough in here, but eight here and eight here, there's still going to be half an inch in there. So, yeah, they are exactly from there to there, nine and three quarters. So, an eighth of an inch here on each side is going to make a perfect 10 inch square. Yay! For my tree skirt that Martha found me to make. <clears throat> right. <laughs> now I got something to do with these panels. <laughs> Perfect. And I'll show you the pattern that Miss Martha found me to make a tree skirt. So I got one pillow for one one pillow top done. That's the tree skirt, but not in I'm not doing it in those fabrics. I'm doing them to match this. You know what? I'm thinking I might see these ones here. I might do those in strictly white so they match this. Yeah, that would be fun. Yep, or even trim it in white because that's the one I have the most fabric of. That'll work. But see how she's got everything kind of crowded? It's hard to determine. It's hard to see those right. points. Yeah, I would definitely break that up. So, But it's a super easy pattern. And it's a free download. Oh Wonderful, darling. Wonderful. It is going to be gorgeous. I'm excited now. Well, I just now got the live. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we've got one gorgeous pillow form done. I thought I would put one together just so I can see how it's going to look, if it's going to have the, and how to put it together. It was super easy to put together. So um, we're going to get working on the rest of them here. And I got them all stacked and ready to go here. I've got them all in their rightful piles. So all the colors that are going with this one are all in its right place. And I still have to make these four units. And then we're done. I can sew them all together. I still have to make flying geese. These and the blocks. Oh. I am waiting for it to warm out up outside so I can go out and finish the shed. So did you, uh, is your shed empty now? Well, 
pretty much yes we've got things put back in it nicely and neatly um oh yeah it's pretty much empty so i'm just oh we just got rid of so much stuff so much stuff did you give good. anything away Honey, we took about four or five loads to the dumpster. Uh, Margo took a load of metals home. It's like, I just don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Threw away about 30 fishing poles. Oh, my God. Why? Because the mice had got under there. My one side of the shed is totally rotted out on the floorboard of it. Oh, God. And uh, so next spring, I'm going to see if Mark wants to come over and redo, like, a lot of the ply board. Hey, Tracy. Good morning. Morning. So the thumbnail for this block is beautiful. Uh, that's the one we made, Trace. I made this, see? And I took a picture of it. We've got one made. So I just thought I would try and see how it goes sewing it together just so I don't do it on my video. She's got four more to go. I'm making four more, and they're all put together differently. Well, they're not put together differently. They're put together the same. They're just the fabric are all changed. The only thing that's staying the same is the white. So, But I have to finish up all my flying geese on them and that's it that's all the units i need to do to create the blocks this is the last units or these flying geese here and that's it so we're getting her are this set is done let me turn my iron on and then i'll square them up and start on the next ones they usually don't need a whole lot of squaring up but i just want to trim off because the other quilt block or that block went together so nicely because i trimmed everything up just to make it so that is the black that's going in the next one. That that will be the black that goes around this area of the block. The black and the silver. Beautiful. Okay. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to sew these ones too. <clears throat> while I'm waiting for it to heat up. Patsy's in the house. Good morning, Patsy. Morning. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Bluetooth is what to pick up on my phone. All right. <coughs> I 
don't so like it. Looks like the material fades together where it crosses. How do you do that? I will show you in the pattern. It shows you. And if you look at the video I got just posted below this uh, video, this tutorial here, if you go to that video and go to one hour and 27 minutes into the video, that's where I created a pillow last of this exact same pattern. So I have all the instructions and everything um, on that video. And I made it, I think, in February of this year. So it's super easy. You see what she did to me, Martha? What did I do? Got me on the camera. Oh, Yay. but it's so Yay. nice to see you working, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> Wave. <laughs> I have to reach around because I had to set my phone in a certain position to pick it up. I do not like big stitches like that. So what are you <laughs> working on? Uh, oh, you didn't see yesterday. I no, she was you... gone by the time you showed it. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. Because I'm... Hold on. All right. So I got this little Tim Hoax binder, and I'm making a little. Oh, okay, which you can see. Can you see it? <coughs> Valerie And what are you gonna do with it? Um, it's just gonna be a little ballerina album. Oh, okay. So you're doing paperwork? Mm-hmm. All right. Here's the page I'm working on. Oh, cute. They're little tiny pages. That's the inside front. Of this is the last page. Just piddling, making things. Yeah. But it's the binder, so if I want to change it to an album, you can just add sheets in between it that, you know, make pouches and waterfalls. Later, I so desire. Okay, I'm gonna just square these up quickly. Oh man, what are you working on? You still meeting? My... Yeah, well, here shortly, I'm gonna go out and start finishing up the west of the stuff that's in the yard from the shed. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Just getting ready to have the ground here with our basement. Can't wait. Once the house is done, a lot of stuff, whatever I'm not going to use, have it done. I wish that it took a before picture. Oh, you yeah. It just freaked. I always forget to do that stuff. I get so excited about stuff getting done, I don't take a picture. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Like, when I get all my housework done, I'm all excited. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what first clean house. I am just very thankful that Michelle, Margot, and Kurt come to help me. Yes. I'm it's very good. thankful for that. Very good person. You, that, you just can't do that by yourself. It's just, it was so overwhelming. How long did it take? I think I was playing it around. It took us over two hours just to clear the stuff out of it. Mm. And that was mostly stuff that Herb just threw in there? Yeah, just threw it. Just the things were just thrown in there. There was stuff in there. It's like, why would that even be in there? I mean, it was like a hoarder situation. I know. Yeah. I hear Holly May. Yeah. There she is. I did yeah. My dad was opposite. Throw it out. Throw it out. My mama gets so mad. Don't throw that out. Get that back in here. Morning, Rajul. Hi, Rajul. Hi, Rajul. All right. Yeah, well, I found 
I found knives that he probably thought he lost. Um, I found yeah. things of mine in the little tool thing that I didn't even know was out there. Just, just oh my god, this stuff, just junk. Mine's last day at work is twelve thirty. So, yeah. who's I'm last day at work? Has He's getting out. Your hubby? Oh. Mm hmm. He's finished work? Yep. Going out. He's, he's retiring? Mm hmm. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. Does he have a yeah. home hobby? Fix my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good hobby. <laughs> okay. He keeps saying he'd really like have... to do like woodworking and stuff. I'll, I don't know what he'll do. I think he'll be busy for quite a while, though. Even found a, <laughs> a little wood hammer that hangs on the wall and it says honey do list. Oh, that's, cute. that's cute. Well, I'm gonna hang it in there somewhere. Now I want to. I want to find some metal shelving that I can just put all the power tools on. Yeah. Yep, that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Keep yeah, we even had a jigsaw in there. I did not know we had a jigsaw in there. Oh. <laughs> wow. Sound like me in our basement. Because I got stuff down there for when the house is done. Stuff gets moved around. I'm like, you couldn't find it. Oh, fit in this place. <laughs> I have an elephant down here. Eh. Excuse me. Uh, so let's see if it takes me about three hours, 11, 12, 1, 2. <laughs> yes. oh, I don't have a I think it's a bad. There. Now that's all I did for squaring up. I took about that much off. But that's still a lot. If you leave it on... Your blocks won't match up nice oh, like these. Uh, I learned that with my tulip quilt. I was in the process of making, oh, yeah, it will come out. Ooh. Yeah. I learned that. <coughs> so I have two left here. And I've got them in their rightful piles, the colors that are going with each one. So now let me finish up these. Last four or eight. Flying geese. Well, Debbie, Debbie says I'm going to attempt to make a Christmas house for my village. Oh, yay, Debbie. Oh, mm -hmm. Debbie, that would be so pretty. Yes. Mm -hmm. Miniature mm -hmm. wood. Did Martha, do you think any of that stuff will work that I sent? What, Kathy? Do you think any of that stuff will work? That I think. Oh, I already put the little uh, rocking chair together, and I the <coughs> rocking chair might go on the front porch of the Santa house. Oh. Yeah. Um, I thought you could use the both of it. Yeah. Some bathroom stuff. And oh, the little <laughs> toilet. I think the toilet's gonna fit in there, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll paint it gold. <laughs> Love it gold. I uh, had this wood set that had uh, all kinds of furniture, miniature that you have to build. And I sent it to Martha because I didn't have any use for it. So I'm glad she can use it. Yeah, yeah. I had to take it all apart and look at all the pieces. It's like, <laughs> oh, I put a little rocking chair together. <laughs> Yeah, it was cute. It even it. came with a tiny little piece of sandpaper in there. 
have they had it. I think Kmart used to sell that. We don't have Kmart, but at Christmas they used to have wooden stuff you could paint. Like I had a train, I did that to my niece, and a little dollhouse, but it it was too kitty and it I gave it to my sister. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably cute stuff. stuff I would. Yeah, it's probably stuff I got to do with the girls when they were younger, and then we didn't get to it. Yeah, I love. No, oh, yeah, Debbie, you'll have fun making a little house. Oh God, yeah. Tip four. Oh. Yeah. Just I make sure you to... have a very, very sharp razor when you go to do like the windows and stuff like that. <laughs> All right. I can't wait. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'll be really happy tomorrow when I get it all done. But so I had bought three tubs. And we haven't used not one of them tubs yet. So I guess I got that 100-foot garden hose. I guess I'll just wind it in one of them tubs. That's a good idea. Yeah, because yeah, I can't. I've got two big yellow hooks. I thought maybe just wrap it around them hooks. But then, nah. So. <coughs> and I got to rearrange a few little things because it's like. I don't know, but it's so much better. It'd be really nice if I could just go in there and paint everything white, and you could really see brighten things up in there. But you got to have new walls first. And Michelle, Michelle was short enough to where she could stand right in that shed. And sweep, and she was doing a lot of the sweeping and stuff like that. And uh, man, punching over in there, just like my back, my back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feed them lunch or supper? Oh yeah, I had uh, sloppy joes, macaroni salad, <laughs> coleslaw, baked beans. Wow. Oh yeah, you got to feed your workers, you know. Yeah, you do. Keep a worker yeah. happy. Yeah, I'll eat them again, too. <laughs> They'd probably have been more happier if we had a 30-pack of beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, then they might not have worked so good. Well, they might have gotten late. What? What? I can't I hear you on the sewing machine. Oh, sorry. I said if they had too much fear, they might not have worked as well. Oh, they would have well, been tired. They might have stayed another two hours longer. Oh, well, <laughs> could have gone either way. And then Martha wouldn't have to be going through all that stuff today. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> See, maybe true. you should have fed them beer, Martha. <laughs> you probably would have got more work done, too. Well... Mm -hmm. What they wouldn't hear what they were doing. Yesterday was a godsend. It really was. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thrilled to death to tell you that. Right. Now I got room to put my little flowers and my little windmill barn and my box of rocks in there. And that'll free up the space by my microwave stand. There you go. Oh my gosh, there's just so much room in there now. It's just unbelievable. Yay. Well, just make sure you don't put anything in there that you don't want mice to get into. Oh, oh it's, yeah. <laughs> well, pretty much everything in there is. I don't know. I put my little three wheel or my three drawer card in there. If you can stand the smell of mothballs, you could put those in your shed. You won't get no mice in there. I was yeah. thinking that, but I wasn't sure if that was for mice or not. Oh, yep. yeah. Mice hate mothballs. Squirrels, mice. Any rodents. Okay. 
I thought, I was thinking, is it just for ants? Because they tell you to put it around the perimeter of your house. Yep. I've heard that before, but I didn't But know it's that. too strong. When it's sunny and hot, those mothballs become very potent. Yes, they do. They're strong. Oh, yeah. Even if a breastplate. small amount of it is still potent as mm -hmm. heck. Yeah. Yeah, so it's I don't good. know. There's a pile of wood out there. Oh my lord, the wood. So maybe there's I don't know. I might be able to piece some wood together to fill up the hole on the side of the shed so they yep. can't get back in there. I guess there was even a raccoon in there. Oh, dear. Yeah. Martha, I bet you didn't see this yesterday. Oh, look at that, Kathy. That's a kit and I, I bought from Ruby when she was selling her stuff. Oh, she's pretty. Her name's Miss Ruby. She sits here on my desk. <laughs> Miss Ruby, eh? <laughs> so when I'm sitting here fussing, I, I say, could just see you picking up by the hair. Come here, Miss Ruby. <laughs> sit over there. You said I could do this. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> no, she says, now you know Ruby would tell you, you can do it. Yes, I do. You can do it. Look, guys, you she made a voodoo it. doll of me. <laughs> <laughs> Now no. I know why I feel pin pokes all the time. <laughs> oh, oops. Sorry about the tummy ache yesterday. <laughs> uh, he a roll about in my room. <laughs> just keep me dressed. That's all I can tell you. Oh, yes. No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like running around naked today. Uh, no. No, we don't, we don't want to do that. Yeah, not today. Just not. Oh, okay. All right. This is it. And then we could start sewing them together. Hey. Olivia got her table. So yeah. Oh, she did. Together. Yeah, she just showed me a picture. Yeah, she, she was talking about it yesterday. Yay. Yeah, she's been working on a tiny little area. A little cutting oh board. my god. She showed me a picture of before and after of her one little corner and it looked like my shed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, she really been working a lot. Yeah, she'll be busy a few days trying to organize and figure out what she wants to do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because it does, it's like you first get it and then you Go to work and you're like, this plan's not working. I have to keep getting up. It takes a few yeah. times to rearrange into you. For me anyway, because you know I'm OCD. Well, yeah, you gotta tweak it. Yeah. Tweak it. Tweak it. Finally got it where I most of what I need is right here. My cabinets are right there if I need to get in there, so I don't have to. So is doing mm mm coffee. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be getting one here in a minute. I've been drinking on mine. Okay, so those. I'm oh, thinking. Wait, 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 mm -hmm. so. Done. Have and then these that? are the last. That one had a big chunk of, I had to take off. Look at how much. That would have made a huge difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You think it doesn't, but it does. Ask it does. it yeah. sure does make a difference. Yeah. Especially when your shit doesn't uh, start lining up. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. even with throwing a blouse pattern, what mm -hmm. I try to tend to do a little on the bigger side. So I do like an eighth of an inch seam, and it really makes a difference than the half inch seam. You know, yeah. it really does make a difference. Usually, uh, clothing patterns are five eighths of a half. No, well, I was just seams. exampling. Yeah, they're those are big seams. Yeah, they are. 
I used to make stuff when I was going to junior high, as they call it. Oh. Oh. Oh, I dread going out there. I think Olivia sent me in. What was that? Mm. All right, last one. And I'm going to start laying these patterns out. Yeah, the other day Olivia was thinking, you know, I'd like to have like a measuring tape on my table. And so I got on and I was looking up measuring tapes because they're sticky. Mm -hmm. And she's going, stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, my God, stupid. I said, what are you saying stupid for? She says, because I collect yeah, measuring tapes. And she started pulling out all these measuring tapes. <laughs> like, oh all right. Now, I won't be able to... Uh, <clears throat> Lay this pattern out. Wow, so. talk about slow mo steam yard. All right. Holy Lord. I'm on slow mo for sure. Ruby is in like slow mo. Really? Can I look at my laptop? Chat disconnected. Huh? Oh, you did not connected. me. I'm fine. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Me and Kathy was at normal speed, and you were just slow. But it said chat disconnected. Usually that would mean my internet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I had full internet, so I don't know. Buy us good. Huh? What, Debbie? I think I have a typo. Or not a correct. <clears throat> Trying to keep this in frame as much as I can. So when did you say my pillows would be done in Ruby? Uh, no, they're going in my box. Here we go. Oh. Music well, I'll ears. get the two that are red and silver. You can have the other three, Mark. <laughs> I'll share. <laughs> this one that's next? No. I need red, white, and silver. Jeez, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. I show you all my my little doggy Christmas thing. Looks like my dog. I don't know if I showed that. Uh, oh Lord. Oh, I'm stunned. I have to take my measuring tape out there and find out how tall of a Metal thing I can put out there. Okay. <coughs> there you go. That sounded better. Ruby is good. Yeah, she's very good at quilting, that's for sure. <coughs> and I love poinsettia material. I really, really do. And all that's missing are those four <coughs> corners like that. And that is our pattern. What do you think? Beautiful. Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. Yes, ma'am. Um. Babe, right. far up the jet. Far up the private jet. I got to go to Canada. <laughs> now, I don't have any room to sew. <laughs> Oops. 
So I'm going to try my best to slide stuff over. You need a bigger board. What, Pat? Anybody who is with Northern Medical School. Yeah. Might be contact, might have Corona. Corona. The virus, COVID. Why the hell is it Corona? Okay, oh, what, do you, what are you saying? Hey, I, don't, I don't understand. The Northwestern School of Medicine? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? She says one of them have. I've been tested. So that means it'll be passed around where that area is. That's a school. And mm. one of the health care workers went at it. Oh. What did you say, Kathy? Oh, uh, one of the other shows I watch, a YouTube channel, uh -huh. uh, they say you're not supposed to say the COVID word. Um, I know. Um, oh, okay. I didn't know if you knew if yeah, I know we're not supposed to, but lots of people still say it. Okay, I didn't know if you would get flagged, if maybe that's what happened. Well, I could that. possibly get flagged for it, yes. Okay. I was just. I guessing. have to get out. My knee is already in pain, and I'm going to take a pain pill right effing now. And oh, make yeah. a coffee. Yeah, I'm going to make a coffee, Martha. You're right. Look at the piggy. So for those of you that just <laughs> arrived, here is one of the blocks that I have literally completed. And this is how it sews together, and it ends up 18 by 18. I never squared it up around the edges yet, and I'm not even going to bother to do that till I quilt it, and then I'll square the whole thing up. What's the mm -hmm. point of cutting anything off right now till it's quilted? And I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just going on a diagonal and doing squiggly lines right across the whole thing. That's it on one direction, no more. Mm -hmm. And I seen it done and I think it looks super pretty. So and it's so fast, so easy. <laughs> and that's all I need to quilt that. <laughs> Is it the Northwestern? Oh my gosh, look at all the stuff in here. Time is winding down. I guess I gotta have me a pizza, a piece of pizza before I get dressed and go outside and Go through all that other stuff. Kitty, is that a dog? The wind is blowing, the trees are moving, and oh, I guess I should go open the door. Let's see what it's running out. Oh, my God. 
I like this pumpkin spice. Jeff's mom sends me this by the box full, so I'll never run out of pumpkin spice coffee ever. <laughs> I don't even have to worry. I have boxes of it. Okay. So, time to sew pieces together. Come back to me, foot pedal. All right. I'm in the ball. It's pretty, pretty, and pretty, pretty. Or spicy, rather. Ruby, did you get the second book from Farmer's Quilt? Yes, I did. That's probably not going to be until spring that I'll be working on that. I still have my other one to finish, and I don't have time right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't have time for that right now. Holidays. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Next is a book angel, right? Yes. The book angel is going to be a project, and I'm going to make some note little stationary sets mm -hmm. for uh, Christmas stocking stuffers or gifts. Mm -hmm. I guess Rajul bought the book. Yep, I've got it, Rajul. And I already have all the fabric. As I mentioned before, um, I uh, I purchased a quilt kit from Blueprint only because I liked the fabric. I didn't because it was really old 1920s fabric that was replica. But I I don't like the quilt pattern. I didn't buy it for the quilt pattern. I bought it just to get that hunk of bunch. A fabric for a very cheap price. Yeah. When they were going out of business. So oh, that's, yeah, they had, that was a fantastic. Yes, they had some fantastic 
Um, Bunny type. <sighs> These get sewed together. And I, I saw them out online, but I guess they decided not to go with the fabrics and stuff again. They're just like well, existing glasses. Yeah, they're not gonna make they're not gonna have the business they had before. If without selling fabrics. <laughs> These have to be nested. Perfect. That went there. That went there. And this one over here. And you gotta nest them because they are nested. It's important to get your points good. <clears throat> okay. Now, <clears throat> that one's going to go there. That one's going to go there, and this one here, I am not liking how big that is, so, scissors. This one here is bigger, and we're going to fix that real quick, like that. Okay, now, next pieces I have to sew together. Or, <laughs> these to this. Oh, you dirty pygmy. Oopsies. Okay, I'm not going to tear that because this is all biased right here. And I don't want to rip it. This whole piece here is biased. And the last thing I want to do is stretch it. Should have went that way. Okay. <clears throat> now these go here. <clears throat> so this is where I need my iron. Because I need to iron my seams. These are going to iron outward so they can nest like that. Okay. Okay, you 
hot enough? Sure, why not? Uh oh, we lost Ruby. I think she might have stepped away. Okay, I see her arm. Maybe she's she on. Have hit. She must have hit her uh, mouse. Oh, yeah. Lost her all the way. I'm on the big screen. Wonder how long it'll take her to notice that she's been gone. <laughs> I, I well, I think she might have been on the phone call. Yeah, well, she wouldn't mute. She wouldn't jump out of. Well, that's true. Yeah. Unless she lost internet. Unless, yeah. Because I could see her little arm at one point. <laughs> I'm past here, probably talking. Okay, I got food in my belly. Oh, it's windy out there. Brr. It's supposed to be high at 62 today. Still got a lot, I mean, like, a long time. Take you a long time to finish up. It's going to take a couple hours, yeah. If not longer.
Wow, I got disconnected. We were wondering about you. When you typed in, where did you go? My internet just, I had no internet. I was right. I was right. Mm -hmm. A bang. This is us. She must have lost internet. I sure did. No, it was not me. Was not me. All right. That goes there. Oh, that's Coco. Okay. All right. Now I need to sew these two pieces together. I was talking away and I'm like, I look up and it said something went wrong. Please try again. I was like, what? What happened? Unless my power just surged or something. Patsy said she heard a bang. She thought it was me. I didn't bang anything. <laughs> yeah, that was not me, sister. This fabric is so beautiful. check everything looks pretty good doesn't it I'll be right back yeah I think I can just press those yeah Oh, darn, it's already 11. That means i got to get up and get out there. It's so funny that I cleaned out uh, big birds, water, Get my ghetto blaster and put it in the window and have some music while I'm out there, I guess. <laughs> Whistle while you work.
Yeah, she loves watermelon. I didn't get disconnected. No, not again. Meow. You're feeding FFs, eh? The fur and feather baby, she said. <laughs> I'm feeding the FFs. Okay. Um... This here, I'm not going to do just yet. I'm not going to press these yet. Nope. So we're going to attach these to here first, and then I'll know. Um, where to and how to. Um, I want to make sure everything's nice and even. So that's that one. And then we're going to put this one on here. Here. And there. Okay. We're good. We're good. One didn't match up very good, and I don't really like it. How that didn't match up super good right there. This one matched up perfect. This one did not. So I am going to be finicky like that, and I'm taking this out. I'm going to move it up. And I had to go and shrink my stitches because I didn't like two and a half inch. Okay. I'm doing it very carefully. So I'm not going to sit here and pull up each stitch. But I don't like how this matched up. <clears throat> so press this again. Threads out. Look good. All right. Let's do this again. I want it to match up. So it's got to go up to here. All right. That should be better. So much more. Well, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. The other way, it was very noticeable. Okay, now going to sew these here so the seams are going that way so I need this one to go this way even though it's going to be wonky that's how that's got to go 
Okay, that's going to go there. We match up our seam. Perfectly. And the rest of it is going to matter. Why is this longer? The other one, I didn't have this problem. Well, as long as those two seams match up, that's all that matters. this piece off because I don't I want it to be kind of straight there we go let's check it perfect that's what you want you want perfection okay that looks good we don't need Okay, that one's going to go there, and it's going to match up on this side here. Oh, wait, I need to iron it first. Okay, so... get this to match up, it will be just perfect. My brother messaged me and asked me to make him six bowl cozies. <laughs> I just don't know when I'll find the time. I told him I would. I just not sure when I'll have time. Bowl cozies? Yeah. To sit your hot balls in. Yeah. Yeah, he wants six of them. And that one fit perfectly. Okay. Debbie said she just made four. What? Debbie said she just made four. Oh, she did? That's what she said. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, that goes there. Uh huh. That is a long one. I need another short one. And that goes there. Okay. So, um, it really doesn't matter which way the seams go on this. So, I'm going to iron these quick. Where's the other short one? All right, but what I do do is I line up the seams in between here because that will tell me that it's centered. So that's where I'm lining up my seams, in between here where the original seam, because there's nothing to match up here. And you want to make sure you've got that nice and perfect so your star, the points are good at the top. <laughs> Good. 
good. Do the same thing here. And there. And there. Right. And Debbie says, I want to try to mat try and match the hanging towel you made. Oh, okay, yeah. I gotta remake the pattern because I don't know where I put that envelope with the pattern in it. Oh no, really? Yeah, and I was sending it to her. Hello. Oh shoot! <laughs> what? A thread. You got bobbin? Yeah, I did. I ran out of bobbin thread. Uh -oh. oh well. These things happen. It's almost time to wind up another thirty spools. <laughs> um, I always forget how to do this. I think I got it right. I'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> We're good. Let's try this again. <laughs> Rendered a thread. baby girl. Uh -huh. oh. You want me to make your bed up, huh? Yeah. Come on. Let's make up your move. Okay. Come on. Now these. Give these a little press. Come on. And these are the last two pieces. <clears throat> I 
pirate. See how it looks. And there is pillow form number two. Look at this. Isn't that just stunning? So these are the two different takes on the different fabrics. Some are more vibrant than others. I just love, love, love this pattern. So there are two done. Let's get another one done. God, isn't that beautiful? Oh my God. I love this. Oh. I have got to use that pattern to make something. Make that quilt. Eventually. It's beautiful. Yeah. I don't think I got that material. Pretty sure I didn't. All right. It. So here's the next one. Lay this one out. Um, all right, those are for that. Patsy, who's whining? Oh. Kind of stack these so I can do that. That one goes in the middle. These ones go in this corner, in that corner. Oh, this one's going to be stunning with the silver. Um, that's going to go there, 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 and there. That's going to go there, there. Why does this not look like it's the same fabric? Did I muck it up? 
I may have. I may have. Um, ah, I did. Let me see here. Yes, that belongs to this one. That's the proper one. Much better. That goes there. Now, I only have one of these. I should have four. There we are. the shorter ones. Okay, which ones go there? The longer ones go up here, here, and the shorter ones go here, and here. Yep. And then these go in the four corners. What if I got that plug it in and plug it in thing in my head? Why do I got plug it in my head now? Yeah, I just keep going plug it in, plug it in. But he started <laughs> that today. <laughs> well, uh, I didn't. I think Miss Ruby here did. Not me. I didn't even say plug it in. You guys did. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm going to on Martha. She's not here right now. Or Olivia. Did Martha say that? She uh, got herself on mute, but I think she's getting ready to go outside. Where's Marina? She hasn't been around a couple days. I don't know. I haven't okay. heard from her. Yeah. I know where Olivia is. I know where he is. Yeah. Let's plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> oh, God. Our brains just feel sick today. I blame that on you for even saying the word plug it in. <laughs> I got it, bro. I just keeps going around in my head. Shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hit it, Kathy. Oh, you <laughs> Remember, I broke the internet. <laughs> you and me both. No, you broke me. Not. 
Gary Mullen now. Oh, no. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I wish I could sing that well. Little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, let it let it shine. Let it shine, 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 I'm gonna let it shine. Where is that off of? What show is that off of? Uh, I always saying it's this little child of mine. So I think it's like, you know. I thought it was Little House on the Prairie. Oh, I don't know. I always thought it was a religious, you know, at least thing. Is it a Bible hymn? Huh? It's a Bible hymn. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, but Little House on the Prairie was all about Bible hymns. That could be. I don't know. I can't say. I still say, plug it in, plug it in. It was oh. Martha. I did not <laughs> say it first. <laughs> Kathy had it stuck in her head, and I didn't say it. Well, I just now said it, so it wasn't my fault. You gotta blame someone. Blame Martha. Neither. <laughs> gotta blame someone. I did it. I did it. I confess. Yay. I did it. She confessed. <laughs> Not me. Little Miss Ruby did. She was sitting up to the fan. What you talking about, Willis? Hey, <laughs> what happened? Here? This didn't know. even sew. What the hell? What's going on? A little toy of her, she's gonna sit and spin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Becky! Spin, sit and spin. <laughs> well, I am dressed and I am ready to go. Do thy deeds. Do thy deeds, Martha. So I will talk to you all people later. Everybody have a good day, and we'll see you in the future. Bye, Bye. Martha. Bye. Bye. Remember, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. He's going to say, this little shed of mine. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. He's going to say, this little shed of mine. That's, yes, that's what we do. <laughs> this little shed of mine. I'm going to make it. <laughs> oh, shoot. We should have said that to her. I am so Okay. Get her back in here and say, Martha, this little shed of mine, <laughs> I'm going to let it shine. This little <laughs> shed of mine. Patsy, no one asked you. She said they're coming to take me away. <laughs> they're coming to take me away. I sure hope the hell it's Kel gone. <laughs> 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 Kelgon, oh. take me away. 
Melee! I'm so not afraid of you, Elgon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. <sighs> Ha 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 Come on, little stars. You're going to shine for me. You better die. Oh, yeah. Watch my channel get banned for that. That's <laughs> yeah. right. Copyright. Copyright. Oh, copy singing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. you don't bother me right now. Just don't do it. We don't can't iron that it. one yet. Okay. That's just fine and dandy. We won't mm. iron you then. Oh, we made Debbie so sick she had to leave. <laughs> <Did you>? No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm, Debbie. I'm tone deaf. I don't. You should hear it here. Why? Life. <laughs> what? Hmm? I don't know. She said something. Oh. oh. Patsy, I just didn't make out what she said. She said you should be here, seeing it, hearing it live. Oh. Oh, all right, then. I think I sound beautiful. Excuse me. Even though I make people sick. <laughs> Guess who was live last night? Uh, wait, I don't oh, even... know. The one that said they were not doing lives anymore. Yeah, I almost... I almost sent you some. Yep. I saw that. Who was it? I'm Another say. And I unsubscribed. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I can't take the name. You can't what? Yeah. I, I saw that too. But when I saw it, it was late. I was like, oh, I should not be here. I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, this isn't going to happen. I don't need to get mixed up with that kind of stuff ever nope. again. No, oh, ma'am. Nope. No. And then don't be afraid because, boy, oh, boy, because I'd shoot you down like you wouldn't believe. Right on a video. I'm not afraid of that anymore. No. You're not like me either. Oh, yes, I am. Piss me off when you watch what I do. Yeah, I think Ruby's like me. When I've had enough, I've had enough. Don't even go there. I'm not Miss Nice Guy anymore. Not like I used to be. Now I'm a bitch. <laughs> and I'm going to earn that title. Earn it. Uh, hey. Everyone else in this YouTube world thinks they can be snarty, rotten little bitches. Well, you ain't seen me. <laughs> they haven't. They, Patsy's like, no, they haven't. <laughs> Patsy's like, y'all better run. Yeah. Don't want to do it to me anymore. Never. I don't nope. want that shit brought into my life. Mm. So I'll just block it before it happens. I don't trust don't anybody on the internet anymore. I have a really hard you're, time you're trusting fine. people. Well, well, you learn. Yeah. I will say it like it is. Eat them. 
But I speak the truth. I don't need to lie my way out of a paper nope. sack. I don't have to lie to people to make people like me. I do. <laughs> that's not my that's not my nature. Take it elsewhere. There's other places I can take it. Yep. As soon as I see a drama video on somebody that I follow, I'm like, bye. What's see ya. They get on there and start bawling their eyes out because people are attacking them or something like that. I'm like, yeah, bye. Mm -hmm. Don't have any hard feelings for anybody anymore. I have a very cold heart when it comes to that shit. Yeah, well, I don't feel sorry okay. for anyone. You, you made your bed, now lie in it. Ridiculous. No, I'm just so sick of it, Patsy. Oh, I know. Uh, oh, maybe. I, I kind of know yep. what you're talking about, though I don't know the YouTubers. I don't, people don't like me. They don't like me. I'm not going to sit there and make them like me and, and lie to them and make all this drama. Oh, well, well, it's me. Feel sorry for me. You guys should be following me. No, I'm not like that. I'm real. I'm, I'm here because I'm real. And if people want to shit on me, they're going to get shit right back now. That's it. You're getting kicked off. It's a No, I've put up with too much. Can you swear on me? Ain't doing it anymore. I have to. I have to remove myself from people that are involved with uh, and stuff like that. I gotta. I gotta kick it off. Real, real. I feel bad. I had to do that, but it's just something that I just don't feel comfortable around anymore. So it's just time to say goodbye. Well, it's not worth it. It's Same with people. Down. People are my friends, they like me, and then all of a sudden, they hate me. Just something out of the blue makes them, I don't want to be your friend anymore. I'm like, listen, I grew up a long time ago, and my teenagehood life is over. So if you're going to act yeah. like a teenager, then, yep, bye, goodbye, block me, do whatever it is that you need to do, because I don't care. It's the social media. I don't care. My heart's not breaking. You don't like me? Good. Don't like me. Move on. That's just how I am now. People made me that way. They made me so bitter about social media that I don't have a care in the world anymore for for nonsense and garbage. You want garbage? Well, you're going to eat your own garbage that you dish out. <clears throat> and you'll regret it. Yeah. Yeah. No time for that. It sounds kind of cruel and bitter, but if you guys that are on my live video here knew half of what I've gone through over the years, you'll understand where my bitterness comes from and why I feel the way I do. And people that get involved with with drama and stuff like that, I don't want to be a part of it. I want it to be and a certain person well, on my channel got involved with Stuff from my past that I don't dig, so I had to let them go. Like it's just that simple. Bye. See ya. Couldn't have been that much. Couldn't have been that important to you. Well, I just don't want to. Like I don't want them them to bring that over to my channel. So if I just no. let it go now, I won't have to worry about it coming over to my channel. And if it does, God help them. That's all I'm saying. God help them. Because I am not afraid. Well, this is supposed to be a nice, happy, friendly place and escape. Yeah, and I, there is so much hatred in this community, in the crafting community, that, like I said, as soon as I see drama videos, they're gone. I don't ever go back to them either. I don't ever go back to those channels. And, you know, it's in all kinds of them. These ones with the makeup, there's some bunch of dramas. Oh, I not know. No, any, yes, everything. Like, what the heck? Come on, y'all. It's just they not right. They and they try to see each other. It's like, huh? Oh, 
don't have time for that. I'm just as much as a bitch. I'm not going to let people walk on me and bully me ever again. It's not going to happen. And if it does, I'll tell you what. Karma's a bitch because it's going to kick them right in the ass when I'm done with them. When I'm dead serious. I feel no afraidness. You're not a fear? Nope. I used to fear a lot of stuff, but I've toughened up over the years. Yeah. I brought the Italian out in me. <laughs> I'm out of a face. I haven't seen anything. <laughs> My mother would always say, it's just so unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. People act just unnecessary. And it is. And the childish games that some people play, you know, well, mm. I don't want to be on your channel because so-and-so is on your channel. And I'm mad at them. And I'm like, oh, okay, bye. See ya. <laughs> Ciao. Then, then just don't come. Don't let the good Lord, don't let the good. The door hit you where the good Lord split you. You know, if I want to watch I mean. something and somebody's on there I don't like, I just stay in the background, see Me what too. I want to see, and just stay out of the conversation. I, I usually do. don't. I'm not a big YouTube fan watcher, anyways. I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos. I know, right? Sad. And <laughs> I, I watch mostly a lot of. Uh, cooking shows like cooking on Facebook and stuff you yeah. know because I'm like Jeff and I like to do different kinds of cooking so I'm not a huge fan of these live videos where they have 18 people on their panels and they're all whining and crying no. like there's a tear in my beer you can't hear <laughs> what any of them are saying you said a tear in my beer oh, yeah. I you said a tear. no tear in my beer kind of thing so you guys all just learned the new Ruby. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not that mean. <clears throat> yes, I am. <laughs> if you're provoked. If I'm pushed, yes. Yeah. You'll see Otherwise, an ugly side of me that you won't want to ever see again. Do I have to go? No. <laughs> no. And my favorite <laughs> thing to do is just remove you, remove people as a friend, and just don't talk to them. If they... You know, like I got a message the other day from somebody off this chat who I swear didn't mean to start drama, but it ended up being drama, and I have not responded to it. So that's just how I am. I'm not going to respond to well, anything like that anymore. I don't care. Whatever happened, happened. It's gone. We're not. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to discuss it. I just don't have time for that. Well, it must be you better off not saying anything. Because if you say something, then it gets twisted around or take it the wrong way. Well, and not only that, I don't want to catch myself up into that kind of stuff. So that's why I didn't respond. And the reason I didn't respond is I don't want to sit there and have a whole big long discussion in Facebook Messenger of what happened, what should have happened, what should not have happened. I don't I don't want to do that. I don't have time for that. That's that's for teenagers. Not for grown ass women. So it might seem a little you know, a little bitter and a little cold that you respond. But again, I don't I don't have time for that. I, I've got work to do. No, and you're not the only channel that does that. You know, there's other ones. They just don't deal I with just it. I just don't entertain it. I don't. No, they don't. They don't they'll just knock you off in a heartbeat. They don't play. And that's what I like. And I really like when my points like that match up so perfect. It's I wanna puke. Please don't. Yeah, like look at how perfect these lined up for change. Ooh, yeah. Oh, boy. I got a thread. That's important. What? Uh, no, Miss Tiana took that. She was in here having a headache. She took an empty pill bottle. She was chewing in the living room off my cart that I keep for my needles. 
that yeah. you gave me, those empty pill bottles yeah. to put my blades and stuff in. Well, I had an empty one, and I, I heard something going clunk, clunk in the living room. I went in there, and she's playing with an empty pill bottle. I'm like, you little thief. Now, how did you get that without me even knowing you stole that? Did you break it? No, she didn't even get a chance to chew it up. Oh, here's your ribbon. I don't, I don't, I wasn't really keeping that for anything. It's got her teeth marks. It's got her teeth marks all in it, yes. And then I went to the bathroom, I came out, and she come walking out of my craft room. I like, uh -oh. what were you doing in my craft room? Check the cords. <laughs> I don't trust you. But I left my door open, and it's my own fault. <laughs> yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. She didn't destroy. She didn't destroy anything too destructive. I came in here. That's the first thing I did was check to see what did you get into. What? You don't have any cut? Oh, I need the red and white for my Christmas one. So when did you decide to make a Christmas one? Well, yesterday. Don't you remember we were talking about it? Oh. So you're not going to follow Kathy's quilt where you don't have to cut your squares? Or I'm, did... I'm, I'm, I'm uh, nipping this one right now. So you didn't go look at that video she sent? Uh, I wasn't on my computer. Go and watch that video. Then we don't have to cut squares. No, I want to cut. I'm going to cut them. And that's the way I'm doing it. Sorry. Where's that mother? Oh, don't tell me that. Okay. Okay. Okay, well. I guess I'm cutting squares for Patsy. You're going to iron all of that and get it all ready for me. Please. I'm not doing that. Do you have an ironing board? What's this? What's this? This is a big square ironing board. Iron these at home. They better not have any folds in them because it makes it really hard to cut layers. Oh, now you got me really nervous. You're a bitch roll. No. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> You two say I'm just like my sister. You got me really nervous. Now you're on a bitch roll. No, I'm not. I'm just stating facts. Y'all see me? Actually, no. So don't mess with her. That's the way it is. I can't wait to get my new gas stove installed on Tuesday. Then I'm going to do some cooking videos. On the new gas stove. I can make my stuff. You know. I'm just not going to ever eat pork again. That just about killed me. That's why I said when uh, the pork does that thing. Yeah. Especially with the uh, California. All right, things. let's have a look and see how good. Ooh, perfect. And now you need to put one in. Perfect. It. Oh my goodness. Put one in see it. how it matches? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make one in the frame and hang it. Make a tree skirt mm -hmm. frame. Well, I might do that. I might hang one on the wall for Christmas. Either you know, a tree. tree yeah. I'm making a tree skirt for it too. On well, my live video. On my live show. We are going to make a tree skirt with this fabric. 
Look at how pretty. Oh my God. This one is so stunning with all this Aww. silver metallic mm -hmm. fabric mm -hmm. in this. Oh, hi, Sandy. Sandy kicked me in. Hey, Sandy. Hi, Natalie. Good morning. Welcome. Oh, I didn't oh see her. my Sorry, God. I didn't see. All of my things matched up for once perfectly. Oh, they usually. I have to say that this one is as stunning as that. Well, I don't know. They all are. <laughs> They're just all so pretty. So mm -hmm. here, I'll give you all a close beautiful. up of all the metallic in this one. How many of those you got to make? Five. And I think I might make one and frame it. Put it on the wall. Look at mm -hmm. all the silver metallic in that silver one. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't this gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know you're making five. Well, I'm going to make four. Forget the five. The fifth one, like I said, I'm going to frame it and put it up on the wall and take down that ugly rosette. I'm sick of that thing. Oh, thanks, Natalie. I really... Hey, Pamela. Good morning. Hi, Pamela. Oh, my gosh, guys. I really, really love this powder. And, oh, I can't wait to make my tree skirt now, too. It's beautiful. Here is my pattern. Right here. No, my tree skirt pattern. Oh, give me it back. I didn't touch it, Greg. Give me my back, my pattern. Why would I even take a pattern? I can't even sew. <laughs> <laughs> Where to put it? I don't know. When did you have it? Okay, so this is my fabric. Let me show you. For the placemats and the napkins. And the napkins, this came from Jordan Fabrics. And the napkins and the, the placemats are going to be made with last year's uh, fabric lines. So, or, or probably the year before. I can't, I can't, I don't know. This is not, this is not Holiday Flourish 12. Holiday Flourish 12 is this fabric here, okay? This is probably Holiday Flourish 11, which is still, all of it's still the red, white, black, and silver. It's all still in the same mm. form. Just, the, I think Robert Kaufman's uh, fabric, he, he reversed, like, instead of putting these on the one fabric that I have them on, on the white, this is on the black. So this mm, is the, good. this is the napkins. So here's the difference. Okay, I'm going to show you. This has to be uh, number 11. Because... This is the panel that comes with this fabric line. So these are your placemats. So here are those ones from this last year. And then we've got this one here that I'm making my tree skirt with. And that's how, how much they're, they're still the same, only just those are the patterns for this, this one here. So this is the mm -hmm. Holiday Flourish 12. So that's, that's the two here. That's the two here. And I believe there's only four in this particular. No, wait, there might be eight. There is eight. There we go. So there is, there's two of each. So there is all four of your placemats. So this comes in a panel. Mm. This is Holiday Flourish 12. This one that I got last year, and this one I got during the year, this year, but I bought this last year before Christmas. This is Holiday Flourish 11. So you only get four in the kit, but I, you only need four placemats, right? So this is the fabric that you got with the Jordan Fabric kit that they made for the placemats. And mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the pattern. And I love this one. This one here is my favorite. <laughs> And yeah, then, Natalie, she'll do it online. She'll show you. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one here is for my tree skirt, which I can't find the pattern now. Oh, there it is. All right, so this is the tree skirt from Jordan's Fabrics, I'm, like this one. And it's got four 10-inch blocks, or sorry, eight 10-inch blocks in here. Well, this panel has eight 10-inch blocks in it. So I'll be using all eight of these blocks in these corners here. So that's how I'm going to be making the panel. And then I have some leftover to cut out. These are the leftovers from 
the this blocks I'm making here. So this is what I have left over for fat quarters. Okay, so that's going to go in with my tree skirt. So I have plenty here. Plus, I'm going to be using white. So mm. this is the place mats. And this is the matching napkins. Wait a minute. Let me show you. This is the place mats here that Jordan Fabric had a kit for last year. And that's what the place mats will look like. You see? Mm hmm Oh, both hips are hurting already. Oh, no, Martha. Poor she Martha. What is She's it? in pain. Yeah, with the bursitis in your hips. Yeah, that hurts. So they sent you in the kit. They gave you enough for the 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 the, the placemats. So this is this red here is these stripes here that go around the block, and then this one is the outer fabric here, and then the backs of your napkins. They sent you enough fabric to make four backs for your your uh, not napkins, your placemats. So that's the pattern. Super easy. It's a YouTube video. Uh, it's on their channel. It's free to watch. So this whole set cost me $57.43. And I wonder if it says what what video bundle panel placemats. Holiday Flourish Christmas Blossom. So it doesn't say um, exactly if this is Holiday Flourish 11 or what, but it's identical to the 12 that I'm using. And like I said, there is a 13 now, a Holiday Flourish 13 out. And this is a Robert Kaufman fabric. So we'll be making that, and we'll be making these super cute Christmas trees, napkins. And these are the fabrics that they sent with the uh, kit. Of course, it's just two fabrics. It's this red one with this black. Oh, my God. These are going to be so... I don't know what this is for. <coughs> Maybe for the tree stumps here. But she shows you in the video how to make these and fold them. And they look so cute. And the napkins. What is this? Oh, that's right. It ends up being a circle, and that's how you fold your circle down to make your Christmas tree. It's so oh. easy, and she has a video for this free, too. So, oh. yep. Oh, those are cute. Yeah, I'm really, really glad I got these last year. Me, too. I'm I just so glad you're making all that for me to match my stuff. It's really nice. What, Pat? Pure later. Is that who's here? Oh, hang on. I don't want to come
La, 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 la. She'll be right back. Okay. No hurry. This touch is Are you kidding me? Oh, well, Bath and Body Works is in the mall, too. Okay, so back to this. My leftover fabric, which I have a lot left over, I'm making this tree skirt to go underneath my white tree that I bought. And I had to buy a four-foot white tree because Tiana will destroy my big Christmas tree, and I'm not putting that out this year. I don't want smashed ornaments. Yeah. I have beautiful ornaments. I don't want them smashed all over my living room. So, um, I just bought that white tree and then I'm going to go and buy some red, white, silver, and black ornaments to put, hang on the tree to make all my stuff match. And then I have all my white snow babies that I got last year. So, oh, that would, yeah. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, this is the panel for these. What do you call these placemats? These are the matching napkins. And we're going to make a tree skirt with all this leftover beautiful fabric. So, oh, it's going to be so ev pretty. everything is going to, to match. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will be gorgeous. So, anyway, this came from Jordan Fabrics. When did this get shipped to me? Um, the date. Where's the date? There has to be a date on this. Um, hello. Where's the date? There's no office stamp. 2019, the 11th month, 11th month, 12th day, 2019. Or it was this, no, it was December 12th, December 11th. 2019. Mm. Oh. That's when I came in the mail. Okay. So we're off and running now. We have two more to make, put together. And okay. we're going to start quilting these. So let's take that off. Let's take all these off. Put them all back on here. So we have J, H. I don't know. G can go there. What else is in here? There's B. Okay. So that's going to be this one here. So what I'm going to do is before any, I even lay it out, I'm just going to sew the pieces together because I've done this so many times now. I know what to do. So we'll just get her done. And 
then we'll take these two and sew these two together. That's what these white strips were for. Okay. That is good, good, good. Now, take another long one. And go to the other side of this. going to do both of them at the same time. That will kill a lot of time. Okay, so that's done for that set. <clears throat> Just this one. Now we'll work on this one. There's C, G, H and I feel the other pin in here, J back there. There's the B. And I believe that's it. So for these four here, and these here. I just need one piece, okay? Not 14 of them. Okay, now the longer ones. are turning out so cute. <laughs> and a nice easy Easy peasy. I'm going to make one of these into a wall hanging to hang mm. above my couch where I got that rosette that I'm so sick of looking at. Which I really am. <laughs> All right. So that's those pieces. Now, let's lay out some more here. So we need to sew two pieces to the center like that. I know that for sure. We'll get that part done. This one. Okay. 
Perfect. All right. There's half a star. No. Uh, what is that? I have a king size quilt I put together 30 years ago. I started hand quilting it and still not finished. I'm going to take it to a shop and have it quilted. Oh, I think that's so pretty. Oh, Sandy, yeah. Oh, wow. You started it 30 years ago. My goodness. Yeah, wow. That's a treasure. A yeah. treasure for sure. Yep. Okay, so each of these, that goes with that, that goes with that, now each of these gets these, this goes up like this, and that goes in the corner like that. Just want to make sure. There we go. We get that down in there properly. Okay, and these two pieces have these. So that goes like that. This is going to go up like that. And it joins like this. And they nest quite nicely. Okay. This goes this way. Right. Yeah. This way. And this way. I if I had a quilt that old, I probably would send it out to be quilted too, Sandy. And quilting is just something I don't do good at. I don't even bother trying to do hand quilting. Just don't even bother. When I can use a machine and go so much faster. And I suck at it, by the way. I tried. No. You like fast. Let it go. Yes, I like fast. Is right. Okay, so these are done now for these. So these are going to go here. So I'm going to give these a press. Let's turn the iron on. Um, oh boy. These belong to this, which one? This one here. These belong to there. Wait, what am I doing? Yes, that is that one. This is this one. All right, so I'm gonna iron these to the inside. that and then these are going to go this way to the outside so i can nest the seams that's 
good. Not ready for the iron. Where are those pieces? Good, good, good. Enough to iron. <clears throat> All right, that's good. So now we could get that one sewed. so hard my back is breaking off off be right back oh she left Careful went. Just left it. Okay. Let's sew these up. Now, that goes there. Perfect. That. You just got to come over here and give me that lick on the leg. Right, Coco? She's just got to come over here and lick me. <laughs> Crazy mutt. Memories are hard to deal with, so like Martha's photo album, it hurts to even look at it. Oh, Sandy, that's so sad. Yep. Well, I have... The hardest thing in my life was losing... Oh, shoot, I didn't realize these matched up, too. Darn it. 
how did I make out on these? Not too bad. Not the greatest. Um, the hardest thing I've had to deal with in life was losing my parents. And I put things all around my house of my mom and dad. So it's a constant reminder of... Well, it just makes it a lot easier to look at things and deal with things as opposed to just hiding it away and not looking at it and trying to forget about it. I can't do that. So I have little things all over the house that remind me so much of my mom and dad. And it's just something I, I think is a lot easier. You, like the pain never goes away when you lose your parents or, or a loved one. I don't care. Any loved one. For me, for me, it's the hardest is losing my mom and my dad. It was just really, really hard. And uh, Kathy's back. What happened? My hit my Bluetooth headphones went out, and I was trying to hook my other ones up, but I, the sound went and work. Oh, goodness. So, like I said, I know. Welcome back, Debbie. Hey, Debbie. I know it's hard, but sometimes facing things like that, your fears, you face them head on, mm -hmm. it becomes a little easier. You never forget. You never. It never goes away, but it's easier to deal with and face like I said, I, I've got constant reminders. I got photos of my mom and dad all over, like in my craft room, in my bedroom. I got things in the living room that are from my mother. I've got a plant that I'm taking care of that was from my mother. It's just, if I was to toss this kind of stuff aside because of the pain that I felt of her leaving this world, um, I don't know. I, I just don't know how I would react. But it's easier to face every single day now because it's there. It's all over my house. And Patsy can't do that. No. I was the opposite. I didn't want the reminder. Yeah. All right. So that goes with that. Which fabric is this one? But I have them in my okay, so that goes with that, and that goes with that. Ooh. Yeah, I, I can't imagine going through hell like that, uh, Sandy. That's awful. Hmm? Why do I feel like I'm screwing up? Do you want to go out? No. Um, why do I have a light one in here? That's part of the fabric line. Oh my god, this one's going to blend too much. Like the black. Alright, so. I know those go there. That goes there. That goes there. And I think the long one goes there. Not sure. Yeah. Because then the short ones, one goes here, one goes there. And then the long one, that would go there, there, there. That one goes there. Boy, that one's going to blend in. going to barely be able to see my stripe here. That sucks. Really sucks like that. Don't know if I like it. Not enough black. Let me see here. That's this one. Let me see what this is going to be like. Oh, yeah. Okay. That makes better sense. And 
That one goes like that. Okay. That one's like that. That one's going to be a little trickier to see. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, we're going to sew them together. That's just how it is. I'm not going to change it. This might be one of the ones I hang on the wall. This one really blends in. Sandy. Well, we're always here for you, Sandy. If you ever just mm -hmm. want to come here and chat, we're always here to bring a smile to your face. Yeah. We'll be your support group. Oh, Lord. Okay. So, these are all done on this pillow. Now I just got to put it all onto the square. Boy, that blends in so much. Kaka. Not sure I like that too much. But that's just the way it is. Okay. So, there's that. That, that, and... That and that. That's done. Now this one. Put the two up there. One goes there. Oh, I thought I heard something beep. Be right back. Time for the dogs, Ned. Yes, ma'am. There. And then we need one, two, and one each of those. left to do is sew these two pieces on and then we can sew it on to the block. This is some pretty fabric here too in this one. All right. Done that. So These go with with that one, with that one. All right. So on this block, we need the two side panels. So that's the top panel. We need the two short ones. We need these two. So they go up like this. And I'm going to give them a little pressy. It don't really matter which direction that goes in. There's that. Do the same here. Grab the two short ones. I'll give them a little press. Makes it easier. Just so. 
when they're pressed. All right. Now, I don't have to worry about lining anything up. Just try my best to center it is all I can do with this. Just hope for the best. <laughs> That's how this is going to work. Hope for the best for that. <laughs> okay. Now, am I sewing this one that way? That one goes this way. Go. Round her up. Good enough. So that one's that way, that way, flip it over. Perfect. These a little pressy. Let's give these a little pressy. That one's good. Why doesn't this look right? What have I done wrong? Something is not right. That matched up with that. That didn't match up with anything. Uh huh. Let me see. What did I do wrong? These two sides matched up, but these didn't. These did. I missed it. Oh, okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. What? Did you? Did you close those curtains? You're crazy? No. No, I'm not crazy. I think I was burning my fabric. I could smell it. <laughs> oh my god. That iron was literally going to burn my fabric. Okay, so what did I do wrong? That's what I did wrong. I sewed it on the wrong side. Silly, silly girl. Let's fix that. 
that one's good the thing i saw that i was like it's hard for me to see with this one because the colors all just blend now i don't like that too much so we ripped we had to rip Now, this one can't even think of screwing this one up. It is out. And it goes that way. So I guess it does matter which way this goes on. Now we're fixed and we're good. Okie doke. Now let's put our long ones on. This one goes to this one. So we need to press them this way. Back. Welcome back. So that goes there. And we need to do the same thing here. Oh, Sandy, that is great. I'm glad that we are positive, on a positive side with you. So that's great. Okay. Yeah. She loves your fabric, too. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> okay. Oh, Sandy, that's awesome. Hey, if you ever want to join our live and come in here and chat with us, you are more than welcome to come in and join us, ladies. Oh, yeah. We like to chat yep. more, more the merrier. I don't have a restricted... I don't have a restricted live chat. All right. There we go. Beautiful. Yes, mm -hmm. this... Fabric is beyond words. It is. Honestly, it is beyond beautiful for sure. Okay, so here's where you go on a hope and a prayer that they all match up. <laughs> oh, you know they will. That would be me. You're puky. And you know, I discovered these clips. They're very important that you put the flat side down, that it's mm -hmm. standing up on these clips. Yeah. You see, they have a flat side because when I'm sewing, I just use my finger and slide it off. But if I have it flipped over like this, this gets hooked on my on this yeah. plate, on my feed dog plate. Yes. So I've discovered to uh, make things a little easier by putting them on right. Oh, then they come good. off way easier. Like lots of people don't care which way they go. And normally on a normal circumstances, I never cared. But it was a pain to use them because they were constantly hooking up on my um I my used dog. them a lot with the rag quilt when I fold it in half so I could keep it straight yes. I pin one side or yep. use the clips on one then I could pin it knowing I was 
Yeah, exactly. Hello, Miss Teresa. Hello, Teresa. How you feeling, hon? Okay. We've got this under control, guys. We've got this all under control. Okay. Glad to hear it. Got it. Back up. Teresa says she's feeling better. Thank you. I said that's good news. Oh, that's great news, Teresa. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Glad we are so that. glad to hear it. Oh, shoot. to kind of see on this one because of the, the fabric having that big white poinsettia in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to have to put some water in this. It was like right empty. And it's not doing a good job ironing for me. There we go. Yeah, this one's going to be a little more harder to see. But still, it's there. Uh, let's see. Teresa says they took her off one of her meds. She slept the whole night through without anything in legs and feet. Oh, my gosh, that's wonderful. Teresa. Oh, God, that is awesome oh. news, Teresa. Yay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, right. girl. Yes. You got this. You can beat whatever it is. You got it. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Just keep doing whatever they tell you. You'll be all right. Yes, just follow your instructions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get all the feeling better. Yes, ma'am. Now, I'm going to iron these. And I really don't think it matters which way you iron them. So I'm just going to iron what's easiest for me. Oh, shit. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. I don't know how, but I did. What an idiot. Hope I didn't do that to all of them. All right. So there's that one that goes on this one. This one goes. A long one. This is a short one. Oh god, my knee is just killing me. Oh, ow. Oh. Okay, you say, do that to yourself. Alright, so that goes to this pillow. 
we're going to do our short sides first. Hope I didn't do that to this. I don't think I did. Okay. Now, get these a quick press. And then we are done our pillows. Woohoo! Yep. Well, not done them. I still have to quilt them. Yeah. And then sew the backing on. I don't know. If I want to go through the hassle of a zipper, I'm just going to make an envelope backing, I think. Quicker, faster, and easier. I'll do what you got to do. Yep. Okie doke. Now we can sew these on. So this is uh, goes to this fabric. And that goes to this one. Okay. So those can go up there for now. Tiana went out. Is she? Yeah. No, I let them out. All right. But they're in now. Oh. Now, remember I said I line them up with the seams here so I can get it centered. Mm -hmm. What's the sand off on Picton? Is that what's going on there? Yeah. I seen that this morning. They're it didn't say. Them. It just said there was police yeah, there. They're looking for murder suspects, a guy and a girl. Here. Oh, boy. Oh, Who was murdered? Near you? Oh. What? Was it near you? Yeah, there's a standoff. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. It's not near me, no, it's on the other side of town, thank God. Oh, okay. That's where all the riffraff is over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that one's good. You never know these days. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> okay, so that's not the side. This is a side. Well, I'm going to pick it out. Pick it out. Yeah, it has a bad area. It's like little brick. Yep. It's the um, her house takeover. And the one fellow looks like the Chinese guy. The other one looks like I can't say her name. She looks. She's not native. Okay. Let's get them sewed. We're getting so close. Yes. Woohoo. Oh my God. All right, let's get these a press now and 
pray I did a good job. Everybody shut the city down. This is all getting out of control. It is getting way out of control now. We're going to have more cases than we had first time. Oh, right, yeah. We're already surpassed that, haven't we? See these people. And watch it. Oh, boy. Okay. And a fire carriage. That one's gorgeous. Huh? Wow. Okay, now I have to get up for a minute, guys. This is too bad. Well, I'd say it's still okay. You can still get the gist of it. This one you can see it's more vibrant like the others. But this might be the wall hanging I put on my wall. <clears throat> still very, very pretty. Still, yeah. What do you guys think? Is it okay? Like that. I gotta get up. Oh my god. Oh. You think that's gonna be okay, guys? Like, I think it's kind of neat how it turned out. I gotta pee. Oh.
Where are you hiding your pot? What? Where are you hiding your pot? My pot? Yeah, your dope. What? <laughs> yeah, probably your neighbor. Coco, what? Get me. Where is she? She is on my chair. <laughs> okay, let's get these done and get some padding in them, in the backs of them. Some what you call it? I'm gonna line that up like that. And then line it up in the middle here. Clip there. Clip there and hope for the best. Clip there. <laughs> not line up perfectly there so that's how it's getting sewed okay back because I don't want my iron to shut off. And that one. Alright. We're done with this. So I can put this back up here. We finished with our little alpha pins. Five of them done. 
That makes me happy. We're on a roll. But I'm finishing my quilt before I start anything else because I need to get that done. So when I'm done these, that's what I'm working on next is the quilt. I want to get it finished. All right. shut off anyways let's get these ironed up and we are done five beautiful pillow tops 18 by 18 pillow forms wow this one's gorgeous too they're all gorgeous Oh my goodness. I love this. Look at how that one turned out. Look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I thought of something, and I think I'm going to do it. Oops, why am I folding that? I don't want to fold it. Yeah. This one here is going to be a wall hanging. Okay, so I want to make it more rectangle than it is square. Because right now, as it stands, it's square. So I'm going to fix that up by adding some of that fabric on it. But first of all, I want to cut out my four pillows. And whatever I got left, I'm going to add some strips. Just some plain strips. So there's that one. Look at how pretty. That will make a beautiful wall hanging. So this is going to be the backing of my 18 by 18 pillows. Ooh, I forgot I cut that piece off. And I cut it crooked. So, that's okay, because I'm going to use this. Will this be long enough? Yep, I'll get two strips out of this. All right. Let's see. Yeah, we will. Okay. I'll flip this over, because I need to see how bad of a job I did in cutting it. I'm just going to cut this off and make it nice and straight. So how big of a piece is this? It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can cut these at three and a half inches. So I can have three and a half inch borders. That kind of moved. So let's cut this to three and a half. So there is one side. So we'll make it this. Yep, I love it. Okay, so that's good. We got that. We got that. Now, let me cut out my pillows. But they are 18 inches, so we will cut this. Fold this right in half. That way I get enough for four pillows. Nineteen. I'm going to cut it about nineteen inches. So 
Let's fold this in half and save the other ones. I may not have enough of this, so I'll just put something on the back of the other one. Wait a minute. I need four pillows. That's one, two, three, four. How big is this? Seventeen. Oh boy. There's there's gotta be another way. Oh, wait a minute. I could cut these in half. What am I doing? Okay. Never mind. I'm going to cut these in half. So I'm going to cut them at the 17 mark. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit bigger because I am not good with my left hand. Not at all. Still missed. Okay. Yeah. If I cut these in half, they should make, they'll be short, but they'll still give me my pillow forms. So that's all I care about. Actually, I'm going to go right to the end there because that salvage edge can be hidden underneath. So we're just going to do it this way. I'm trying to make good of my fabric. Take the fold off. Okay, so there is exactly eight of them. So this is how this goes. Oh shoot, some of this is folded. Oopsies. Well, we're just gonna have to cut that open with the scissors. I don't want to waste any fabric. Okay, so there's one pillow backing. We are making an envelope backing, so this is good enough. Okay, because this is going to go on top, and then it's going to have a little tiny hem, and then the other one's going to come over top of it, and it's going to fit. Two pieces are definitely going to fit. I'm not even worried what it looks like. So as long as the pillow fits in there, and this fits on top, we are good. See, it's perfect. It's so perfect. All right, so we got that figured all out. And these are already cut. Yes. And my salvage ends, I'll just fold those under. Okay, we're good. Let me get this back. I was a little worried there. Now. We are good with that. Now, let me see. I've got a lot of leftover fabrics here. And I kind of like these, this panel one. So I am going to put another chunk on this. 
but in a different panel. Is this long enough? Well, it will be, because I do have to trim these down to 18. I'm going to cut this in half, and I'm going to add this on here. Yep, that's what we're going to do. So, let's trim off this panel. Actually, I don't even need my ruler because I can just follow the lines. Like that. shouldn't have done this on this side but oh well well they'll be the same so there's another piece oh that's going to be pretty now i will need something for a border and a binding so these are kind of too small for bindings, although that would have been pretty. All right, so this is how this is going to go. Now I need something to border it all the way around. A nice thick border. So actually, I'm just going to trim these off a little wee bit. I know, right, Miss Sandy? Three colors. All right. That's going to go about there. And then, so this is how that's going to be. The border there, like that. And then this border, like that. And then I just need a solid black to go all around as a border, I think. Yep. Let's see. Ooh. What do you guys think? That's going to be a beautiful wall hanging. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nope. These are scraps. Now, I need black. Some kind of solid black. No. Um... This gray is what I'm going to do, a two-inch border all the way around it. So, this is the best way to cut it. Actually, I'm going to do two and a half inch. And then I'm going to cut a piece of solid black for the binding. Where are you? Okay. So two and a half inches should should make should get quite a few out of here. All these together and then one long border and the black will look really nice on this it'll just make it pop all right yes okay so oops it wasn't two and a half inches what a waste could have probably made another two and a half out of that one so we've got one, two, three, 
four, so two of them. I'm hoping two is long enough. Oh god. Might not be. I'm just sitting here talking and there's my mute on. <laughs> is that gonna be long enough? I sure hope so. Okay. I'm just gonna Yes, Martha, break time. You better be fucking break. Okay, so I need one of these. One of these. Actually, I need it all. I'm going to start sewing this right now. I'm going to iron everything first. But I need to square this up because it's not squared up. So it's all got to be the same size. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure I have enough. So this is the side. Two and a quarter now. Within a bit. Between there and there. Okay. So give me these. I'm gonna sew these on. Sew these on. And then we'll talk about this after. I can always make do with some white in here as well. I have lots of white. Oh, and I gotta trim the other side of that so it's all two and a quarter all the way around. Okay, so let's finish this up. Did I do this side? Let's have a look see. I did not. to lose a bit of my point but that's just how it's gotta go Get sewing this on first. Jesus. 
thing here makes it really hard to slide my fabric. Ruby Roberts here. Hey, Robert! Hey! How are you? How's it going, Robert? Okay. Now, actually, I'm just going to use my rotary cutter. Carefully trim that off. Mm. Have a drink of my coffee. Okay, so there's that. Lost a little bit of my points, but that's quite all right. And hopefully this fits all the way down now, and it does. Oh, this is going to be gorgeous. Of course it is. A gorgeous, gorgeous wall hanging. Gorgeous. Oops, did you fall? Careful. I am really sick of looking at that rosette thing. Look at that. Almost looks like a Canadian flag. <laughs> so pretty. Okay. Thank you. I can't say that that's very straight, so I'm going to just go down a bit. How you feeling, Robert? He wanted to know if it was a 10 by 10 square. No. No, these are uh, 18 by 18. Oh, that's right. Oh, my God, that's going to look so nice, but it needs borders. It needs a top border to blend all of these. <laughs> Just to blend them all together. So pretty. Yeah, that's going to be a wall hanging. Now, isn't that going to look stunning? He's having a very good day. Oh, glad to hear that, Robert. He glad to hear it, day. Robert. They'll get better and better. Yes, it will. Okay, let's get this a pressing and then I could measure to see if wow I just threw together a quilt. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the blue. Yeah. You know, I just had a minute there of a. Oh, this is pretty. Very pretty. Oh. It needs something on the top. It definitely. It's too. 
too long and skinny. So we gotta balance it. I'm actually thinking. All right, so that is this could you could make this into a damn table runner. Mm-hmm. You know? Sure could. You sure could. So we are gonna check to see if this is long enough. Oh yeah, it is. To sew two together. But I really don't think this is wide enough. I don't know. Let me have a look. Not really. I don't know. It might be. It just might be. I don't think I'm going to put them on the sides, though. Because I think it's wide enough. I, it's, I need to build length. Let me think. Huh. Don't want to use any more of this fabric. I need all this fabric for my tree. Try to think, guys. Think, think, think. Mm. I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to roll with it. And I'm just sewing these together like this. It's hard to see the front and the back of these. But I think this is going to give it a bit of height. That's basically what I'm going to do. Now, let's kind of move this out of the way for a minute. Get these a little press. And cut some black binding. This is the lazy man way of joining strips, but I don't care. It's a flat thing. It's not going around a quilt. Yeah. In fact, Jordan's fabrics, that's how she joins strips. She doesn't do it. I do it. Wow. The way Robert, most quilters do it. Robert has 15 to go on his uh, farmer's wife quilt. I got all my blocks done on that, Robert. All the blocks. He says, you're, what you're working on is looking very lovely. Okay. He will post photos, yes, when he's done. What else did I do? Good job, Robert. Okay. Let's get this done. And I'm going to start... Both there, I think.
one's done. Trim that off. And we need to trim this off. And now we've got one more to do. This is all I'm going to do for today, but and then tomorrow is Saturday. I could do another live video. I don't have time to take a break, but I my butt, my back, and my knee. Hurt mm. from sitting here for a long period of time. I'm yeah. I'm hunched over, and I don't know why I'm sitting like this. Ay, ay, ay. I got a head headphone plugged in. Dum dum. Yeah, I think this gave it some height. And that's basically what I was looking for, a little bit of height. And then I'm going to cut out pure black for the bottom. And I think that's going to look stunning. Oh yeah, that gave it some nice height. Love it. Oh my gosh, just ties everything together now. Did my iron shut off again? No. Oh, that's beautiful. I can't wait to hang this up on the wall now to go with the quilt, the pillows. I'm not going to want to take my Christmas stuff down. Such a beautiful fabric line. Yep, that gave it actually the perfect amount of height. Perfect amount. Okay. And I am going to quilt it, same as i done doing on the pillows, I think, because I want everything to match, so. Yeah. And la, 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 c'est la vie. Look at this. So, I, I know you can't see it in the camera. Let's look at how that's going to look for a wall hanging. Mm. What? Yeah. It's going to match. Yeah. Let's see if I can zoom out more. That's nice. You can zoom out some more. There we go. I know. What do you guys think of that? Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, pretty. And there's my backing for it. 
which it is. Oh, yes. Not that red. Backing. You're not going to see any backing. I don't even. You're not going to see this backing, and the backing is just the right amount. Ha <laughs> ha. So that's perfect. So I have the perfect amount of backing for this. Nice. Can't you use just a plain white? No, I want to use this. I want to keep it all together. So this is going to take about one, two, three, four, five hooks. So I got to make at least five for the dowel rod to go through it to hang it on the back. So you're gonna, I'm gonna need at least five of those in this. And, the, and it could be just plain white. It doesn't, it's, you're not going to see it anyway. If I have leftover of this, I will use this. But this is going to make a beautiful wall hanging. I really, mm -hmm. truly love this. Is that this. how wide it's going to be? Yeah. I mean. But it's going to hang straight on the wall like that. And it'll be perfectly straight because it'll be in a wooden dowel. Same way those are. Yeah, you're not making it any wider? No. No, nope, that's as long as it's going to be because I don't have enough fabrics. I think that's perfect. I, I think that's absolutely perfect. It's got the perfect amount Robert of everything. Says, what batting? What? Robert says, what batting? Oh, I'm going to be using uh, cotton batting, um, the flat stuff in this, and also on my pillow forms or my, my pillows. And so that's what this is going to look like with all these beautiful throw pillows on it. Look at that. Mm. It's so, so there's four throw pillows and there's one more. Mm. Look at that. So that's Gorgeous. going to be a perfect, and then I'm making the napkins, the placemats, my quilt, and a tree skirt, because I have enough fabric here to make a tree skirt. So, and this is part of the tree skirt here. And plus I'm going to use white and some solid black. Oh my gosh, you're living so that's going to be so my pretty. tree skirt. Yep, and I found a, or Martha found me a free pattern on uh, Jordan Fabrics for a tree skirt. So, Yay. hey. No All right, guys, I'm getting going. Okay, sweetie. I really love this project. It's turning out so stunning. Oh, my gosh, it's just so beautiful. And for those of you that didn't see the tree skirt pattern... It is right here. This is the tree skirt. So that's going to be underneath my white tree. So I have a white tree that's going to have black, silver, red ornaments mm. on a white tree. I'm not going to put white ornaments on a white tree. So we'll be making this with all my leftover in that panel, those eight pieces of 10 by 10s can go right in here mm. so this is all going to work out gonna be so beautiful. Yep. and then we've got the napkins that are shaped like trees that's in this same fabric that came in a kit last year and the placemats that came in a kit from jordan fabrics last year so those trees are adorable yeah so there's, there's the four placemats that I'll be making and all the stuff's in this kit for it. And these are tree napkins. And the way they're folded, they're super cool. I love those. Mm. Yeah. These are super pretty. So this is what we'll be making after I finish the quilt. And I get, get these finished. And a tree skirt. We'll get all this whipped up in no time, guys. No time. Yeah. Yep, you're fast. Mm -hmm. Well, look at this. I've already threw together all of this. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. You just book it. What batting? When did you do them? When did I do what, Robert? 
When, when did I do what? I don't know. I finished my blocks for the farmer's wife. Oh, that's probably what he's talking about. Yeah. Thank you, Sandy. I think it's going to be beautiful, too. Honest to God, mm -hmm. my whole living room is going to look so gorgeous. I'm going to stick yeah. with the red, the white, the silver, and the black. I think it's just mm. going to be, yeah, it's going to be gonna gorgeous. Be, it's mm -hmm. going to be lovely. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting going, guys. Okay. Go rest your knee. Oh, it's not so much my knee today; it's my my lower back. Oh, yeah, I don't know how that is. I just, I did these, I started this yesterday, and I finished these today. So I made all five of these, all of this, what you see yesterday and in today's video. This morning, I did a little prep work before I came live, just so you didn't have to see something over and over boring, repetitive stuff. So I did do a lot of prep this morning, just to make things move along quicker, so I can get these blocks together quicker, so... Yeah, this is this is just beautiful. Look at this. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go. There's someone at my door. Dogs are barking. God bless. Have a great day, y'all. Bye, everyone.